You recently released a new book, Sandra's Quatrain. Could you tell us some, something about it? Yes. Um, uh, Sandra's Quatrain is a historical fiction about the uh, one-armed French poet and French legionnaire Blaise Sandrars. Um, it revolves around a quatrain, which he wrote in 1949 uh, in one of his novels. And the uh, quatrain generally goes, I will be a man fulfilled if when my time comes, I can disappear anonymously and without regret at the originating point of our world, the Sargasso Sea where life first burst from the depths of the ocean floor towards the sun. So that's the quatrain. But what happened was 12 years after writing the quatrain, Sandkars died and he was penniless and had no friends. And so was buried in the vault of someone he knew in Batignol uh, Cemetery in Paris. So Sandkars' quatrain is the story of how 50 years after his death, uh, his ashes found their way to the Sargasso Sea. So does this book have any connection to Amsulfine? The uh, book itself uh, takes place in uh, France, in Brittany, of course the Sargasso Sea, uh, and in China, but it was written in the uh, inside a Dac Capel of Amstelveen, uh, just down the road from here, while I was gazing generally in the direction of the North Sea. So who is David McKinnon? Could you tell us something about yourself? It was an urgent matter for David McKinnon to leave the safety of the family home, which I did at age 17. And by the time I was 19, I had uh, jumped on a plane and come to Europe and have generally vagabonded from China to France and finally settled here in Amstelveen. So what is it that you like about Amstelveen? I, I love the green spaces. I, I particularly like the Brock Sanctuary where I, I walk or run every day. And I think the Middle Polder is a, a, a beautiful place. It, you know, I find it very evocative of uh, novels that I've read in the past, such as Conan Doyle. And uh, I like the Amstel River as well. I think it's a very, very special city. So do you see yourself as a legal alien being a Canadian in Amstelveen? A legal alien? Let's see. No, not really. No, I see myself as an Amstelveener who has been here for eight years now, uh, but who was born and raised in Vancouver. Yeah. So have there been sold a lot of copies yet of the new book? I have no idea. I, I can say that the book launch was a, uh, a big success here in the Libres Venstre, and I'm certainly looking forward to the reaction of uh, Dutch readers and how they see this story because it's, uh, it's a very European story, and uh, I'll be interested in hearing their reaction. So your next book, titled Leopard Tango, is soon to be launched, um, while Sandra's Quartering has recently been launched. So that's in a pretty short amount of time. Yes, I, I, um, I had the luck and, and the rhythms of writing are always unexpected and you can go years without uh, uh, of, uh, working away and uh, uh, not hearing anything. It just so happened that just as Sandhar's Quatrain was coming out, a uh, uh, very good literary house in Canada, Guernica Editions, contacted me about Leopard Tango. And um, so that will be released in June uh, uh, in Toronto and uh, will be uh, selling hopefully here at some point, but certainly in London. So what's this new book about? Well, perhaps I should uh, explain an expression that we have in North America. It's, uh, there's a certain type of trial lawyer, which is known as an ambulance chaser. And the anti-hero of Leopard Tango is a man named Frank Robinson, who was an ambulance chasing lawyer and uh, squanders all his money in the red light districts of Paris and in uh, various seedy parts of, of the city. And it's about a fatal attraction type relationship of Frank Robinson uh, with someone who he meets in Paris.